All right, last week we talked about your bye week. Were you happy with what uh, you were able to accomplish? Yeah, we did. We got a lot of stuff done. Um, got some more guys to get reps that normally don't get to and um, really improve on our weaknesses. Yeah, the two things you talked about were getting healthy and maybe giving some young players a chance. Both those things, do you feel like you help your depth in those two areas? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think we're getting a little bit, uh, we're getting some guys back. We're not back to full strength yet, but um, you know, we worked extremely hard last week. I think it's going to pay off this Thursday. Big Thursday night primetime game, ESPN. What challenges uh, come with that? Well, we've kind of done it before, even though it wasn't a Thursday, you know, at Arizona State. So hopefully, you know, we've, we've got out the kinks of it and um, we'll be ready to play and play great in all three phases of the game. A lot of people saw Cal on last Thursday night against Oregon. Is that not really an accurate representation? How, how differently do they play a team like Oregon, do you think, than they play somebody like USC? Well, they line up different, but at the end of the day, you still got to play football. And, um, you know, they did, you know, watch the game. They went into a very hard place to play on a night game with a rocking atmosphere and where they were you know they were ahead in the third quarter so um, this is a really good team offensively uh, two great wide receivers your past defense obviously has been under fire what's the challenge there with, with those two guys Keenan Allen and Marvin Jones well to limit the big plays they're great receivers I'm um, led by Keenan you know making every play there is big strong physical fast one of the best players in the country so we're gonna have our hands full what are the challenges with facing a 3-4 multiple defense that the Bears will show yeah, a lot of challenges for our offensive line, our running backs and tight ends with pass protections because they're so multiple in their fronts. They do so many things and play so many different guys. It presents a huge challenge for us. The stadium is a converted baseball stadium for the Emerald Bowl. There was one sideline, but I'm told that there's two sidelines. Are there any other logistical problems that you know about going into this? No, you know, we're not worried about the field or the setup. This is all about us playing well. Coach Tedford has really had an impact on you over the years. Talk about your relationship with him and you know, what it's like to battle against him. Yeah, really, you know, so grateful to what he did early on. You know, when I was playing, um, you know, I got to learn so much from him every day. And then after that, he let me start coaching, you know, as a student assistant sitting next to him in the booth while he was calling plays. So I learned a lot from him. And your father said he's back to calling plays. You, you see that in their offense? He actually said uh, he wished he hadn't gone back to calling plays because he really feels like he's, they got him back on track. Well, yeah, I know. He's done a great job. And once again, they're right back up there, you know, moving the ball, a bunch of yards, a bunch of points, you know, like, like usual when he's, when he's running the show. Obviously, last year probably the best performance was against Cal. Do you, do you show that tape this week, try and bring back those good feelings, or just a new year? You know, every year is different. Every week's different. You can't compare games. You know, you see that every week. Teams, teams lose that aren't supposed to and the other way around. So um, this is about us playing really well. After a long laugh, you think this team is primed and, and ready to get after it again? I do. I think we worked really hard. Um, you know, now we've slowed. We, you know, we, we've moved back a little bit on the legs with shorter practices today and tomorrow. And so I think we'll come out flying. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this week. Let's go, Trent.